Good morning. It is a little bit uh, cloudy in Rimini. That's where we parked up. Now uh, in daylight there is three of us. Yeah, some apartment buildings and a park on that side there. On the front of those buildings should be some police barracks or something. I don't know. I saw that in the app. But I didn't see it walking by yesterday. And uh, turn around that side, that's the the walk bridge where you can walk along the harbor, what we did last night. And there, behind the lamppost, you can all... I can't see the sea, but uh, yeah, it's probably not that visible on, uh, on video. But you see some masts on that side too. And uh, from the boats. So we're, uh, yeah. We're going to walk around a bit with the uh, light. I'll try to film the harbor, but first we're going to get uh, a nice cappuccino. I found a place on Google Maps where they should have a great cappuccino, so I'm going to try that. <laughs> Kill this guy. Yes, he kicked. Old pictures. This is around 1900, and then it slowly gets uh, more busy. Look at that, 1908, 1920s. Yeah, there's already a lot of those tents on the beach, <laughs> bathing uh, fashion. <laughs> 1900 for the thrill seekers. And this is 1938, just before the war. Already quite busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah 35 to 39. That was uh, for all the climate uh, people. 37 was one of those years that it was really hot everywhere. But after they re-evaluated all the data recently it's been uh, scratched from history as a hot year but uh, find newspapers from 1937 uh, you'll see yeah this is uh, 60s and then it really starts to get uh, like party town and here the 80s oh Ter terrible, terrible. I wouldn't want to be here. Uh, I don't think I want to be here now, this time uh, in summer either. But now off season is fine. <laughs> this is the official uh, location here in Germany, on this side at least. A bit closer to the sea, but it's all fenced off, so you'll still have to go the other way. So Yeah, I saw the entrance uh, yesterday evening. It's uh, 20 euro per night off season now, and in season it's even 30. So, with additional cost of tax and uh, stuff like that. But uh, nah, I'm parked free. I don't need power or whatever, not anymore. So yeah. Look at this camper. It looks pretty. Bubble in. Nice. Put the images here. Go. Now that. I ain't it too. I have done. Yeah, so can pull on piece that the out end is. Walking up to uh, the end. Uh, it is uh, low hanging clouds at the moment, but it should be better. It should be like 16 degrees and some sun today. So on that side there are the boats we saw yesterday in the canal. That's Rock Island is on the top of that restaurant or whatever it is. They're laying a big pipeline or something. The harbor, yeah, just let's walk to the end for a minute.
art in the harbor of Rimini. <laughs> These bikes are here for quite some time, but yeah, they're still parked up here. They just left. <laughs> the bubble uh, van. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and now we're a real Italian cappuccino and a croissant, they are called uh, brioche here, just to buck forty. Who is also having her breakfast? Oh, look at that, got visitors. <laughs> yeah, the view isn't uh, really spectacular here, but it's a nice place with uh, a lot of people and uh, it looks to be... Uh, one of those local uh, places so I'm gonna drink my cappuccino now and after a morning walk with Boo we're back at the van and uh, we'll prepare to uh, start driving again we uh, walked the harbor a bit and uh, sat down at a little cafe for uh, three cappuccinos and a croissant that was only five bucks amazing and they were great cappuccinos so uh, yeah we're ready uh, to uh, head the road and uh, further south so yeah let's go leaving uh, our location and with that Rimini and uh, back to the navigation real quick because it wasn't saying anything but uh, yeah, we're uh, leaving Rimini and uh, further south to new destinations. I turned off. Uh, Na 200 meter, neem op de rotonde de tweede afslag. The toll roads. So uh, I'm curious to see how the non-toll roads are here in the south, or getting more south from Rimini is a little bit of in the middle. So. Yeah. So yeah, let's see. It's a bit uh, busy to get out of Rimini here. It's all uh, red lines on my sat-nav. Uh, normally are there with blocked or very busy streets. So yeah. As we are slowly uh, leaving uh, Rimini. Rechtdoorrijden. Daarna neem op de rotonde de eerste afslag. Mention, there's one thing that uh, we... Uh, Need to do today. Na 200 meter, neem op de rotonde de eerste afslag. Uh, yeah, I still have a quarter of a tank since I filled up in uh, Germany, so that's not too bad. But um, I found a gas station that's reasonably cheap for Italian. Uh, de eerste afslag. For Italian uh, way, 139. So we're gonna fill up there. Yeah, and then I saw a uh, big little and a uh, big parking lot, not uh, too difficult uh, to get in and out. There were uh, double spaces free, so I picked the double space so I can get out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to check it out. First time in an Italian little. We're uh, on our way again. There was a nice big little, a lot of Italian. Uh, uh, stuff they got the produce but also uh, packed goods and um, I immediately noticed I, I bought I don't know what all, at all it was not even 10 euros but uh, and um, I saw right away on the on the ticket that uh, the VAT was or 4 or 10 percent so that's that's quite uh, quite low so now off to the gas station and then uh, towards the coast further south. Yeah, we are uh, inside city limits and I must say this stretch is pretty good. <laughs> but uh, we do have some uh, stretches of very bad roads. Neem op de rotonde de tweede afslag. But yeah, within city limits that's not that big of a problem because yeah you go quite slow there's a campus park to the left I see but 
Yeah, I'll see how the road is outside the city limits. But this is, yeah, you always see when you start filming, then uh, it's good again. But I'll show you a bad piece. <laughs> and this is uh, not as bad as you see, but it's, uh, you can hear that it is uh, like rattling all the time. Uh, and now on this stretch, for a while already, we've got the reasonably new tarmac without holes and whatever so I'll just give you guys an update at the end of the day of uh, how it was <laughs> yeah slowly the Sun is trying to peek through the clouds the forecast was sunny but I haven't seen the Sun the 16 degrees that's correct it's 16 degrees outside it's not cold at all but uh, yeah here and there, there are some uh, Nice blue patches. Now, in the cloud, so let's see. Another thing uh, here on the Italian roads is there you know, are a lot of electronic uh, speed traps. So, uh, and seeing the way uh, they drive yesterday on the toll roads, don't keep the speed limits at all. I think it's a good thing here in Italy, but. Um, uh, it seems like they know, uh, especially locals, know where the speed traps are though. So they just break down for the speed trap and then oh, hit the gas again. But like two villages back, there was uh, to Cabernieri, the Italian uh, police, uh, with a laser gun. So uh, yeah, they are uh, were just uh, parked in a band of uh, a road in a corner somewhere. And uh, I think they have a busy day when uh, people that don't look too far on the road, then uh, yeah, they just catch you with a laser gun. So, gelijk uh, even het verbruik uitgerekend. We konden net geen 60 liter tanken. Dus sinds uh, Duitsland. And, um, 1 op 13,1. Dus uh, niet slecht zou ik zeggen. Nou, we gaan eventjes naar de rechts. Uh, filled up uh, the van. With uh, just shy of 60 liters. And um, I calculated uh, the, uh, the mileage. Or kilometers. Hier indien mogelijk om. And um, it was uh, 13.1 kilometers to a liter since I filled up in Germany last. And uh, yeah, I pulled over to this side now. I'm going to fill up the, the diesel tank from the gas heater too because uh, yeah, it's quiet here and it's uh, fairly easy. So I'm going to do that. So the heater is also filled up. Not that uh, I hope uh, not to have to use it that much, but I believe next week was going to be temperatures at night just above freezing. So, the first afslag. And I don't know if I'm still in Italy or uh, if I'm uh, in uh, Greece already. So yeah, let's see. Volg deze route but, uh, nog 12 kilometer. Now at least I don't have to worry about that. It's going to be good for a few nights. This morning I didn't uh, fire the heater up, it was uh, already 16, 17 degrees in the van um, when I woke up, so I uh, didn't use it this morning. But yeah, let's continue our route. Yeah, I don't know uh, how much is actually visible on the video, but we're driving along the coast, it's this road, and then railway tracks, and then the beach. They're all uh, kinds of artificial rock islands in front of uh, the beach to so break waves I guess or what but yeah yesterday evening when we arrived in Rimini at uh, the Adriatic Sea there were no waves either and now too it's like a flat like yeah Richard would say like witches did <laughs> but uh, no waves at all so, um, yeah, 
it's not a very pretty coastline uh, like this road, railway track, beach but let's see The sun is out, but uh, the clouds got darker and darker over the sea. It really looks looks strange, looks <laughs> very daunting. So. But still, it's, it's dry and it should stay dry today, so I don't know. Let's just uh, stop here on the side by what looks like a, a campground that's been forsaken, but could just be for winter season, I don't know. Let's uh, walk around a bit and get on the beach. That's a sea! Is that the sea? It's a fain. I should have made it more clear than that. Yeah, walking on the beach uh, for the first time on this trip. <laughs> With the little one who likes it very much. <laughs> Sadly, not yet with uh, barefoot. But uh, that will just still come. This is uh, first time uh, walking on the beach this trip, so yeah. Yeah, even though uh, I could park up here on the left side somewhere and then with the nose back, so the uh, sliding door would be on the sidewalk. I decided to uh, move on to a little village 47 kilometers uh, further south. Pass Ancona, and there we should uh, also be uh, right at the seafront. So it's uh, 46 kilometers and uh, uh, 46 minutes um, drive, I believe it's at. So uh, yeah, quarter past five will be uh, when we arrive. So uh, yeah, let's get there. Uh, quite some uh, industrial chimneys and silos on the left. I think this is the petrochemical complex of uh, Ancona. Yeah, this is a uh, quite a nice uh, area where we're driving now. It's all uh, rolling hills, small villages. A little bit more uh, nature around here. Nice. Yeah, we are parked up. I've got Italian neighbors. This is the ongoing road, so, but mostly at night it's fairly quiet. It's close to town. We've got sea view and the beach right in front so she won't mind that for the morning. Boo! Boo! <laughs>